to celebrate the, Dan the wedding of Daniel and Camille. You have come here to share in this formal commitment that they make to one another to offer your love and to support this union and to allow Daniel and Camille to start their married life together surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. So welcome one and all who have traveled from near and far. Daniel and Camille, thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to be married. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting, and believing in each other. Through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, uh, learning to appreciate your differences, and learning to make the most important and learning to make the important things matter. And letting and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is witness and affirm the choice you make to stay together as life mates and partners. We've come to the point of your ceremony where you're going to ask, you, where you're going to say your vows to one another. But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. No, t no other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those that you now assume. If you are able to keep the vows that you will take here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved, by another person fully without limitation, then your life will have joy and home, and the home you establish will be a place in which both of you will find the direction of your growth, your freedom, and responsibility. Daniel and Camille have both, uh, you have each prepared their own vows that they'll now read. Yeah. cries with me and then helps me feel better. I look forward to seeing him and talking with him every day. As my person, he has always been there for me with a listening ear and a joyful laugh. You will always be my person, Daniel Ian Whitmer, and I hope that I will always be your person. Camille, do you know I worry a lot about, well, just about everything. But one thing I've never worried about is whether or not my love for you is true. From the moment you entered my life, it has felt like the most beautiful dream. There are so many things I love about you. You help keep me grounded when my penchant for being overdramatic starts to make me lose focus. You're always patient and caring, even when you've had a bad day. But most of all, I love you because of that twinkle in your eye, that lilt in your laugh, and that infectious smile that I can't help but return, no matter how broody I may be. <laughs> my love, as we start our life together, I promise to always listen and communicate openly and honestly with you. I promise to encourage your dreams and adventures wherever the wind may blow, even if it's the frigid winds of Melbourne. I promise to stand by <laughs> to the challenges we will face in our life together, to offer a helping hand, a shoulder to cry on, and a compassionate heart. I promise to always put our relationship first, even if the pressures of life try to push us apart. You are the light of my life, my best friend, Moses Kalkanov. I love you, and I cannot wait to begin the next chapter of our life.
me since I was born and uh, I knew he was apprehensive about having another sibling as we had two. No one. Two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but after I was born, he liked me. <laughs> like. And after like, my parents would have babysit me. Just uh, have me knock and cheese, sit me in front of the TV and he would just play at request. On his own. I was happy. He's brought me through a lot in my life. He's been a massive influence on me from the day I remember. He's helped me through places that I've been and I don't want to recall. And I'm extremely thankful for that. I wouldn't be the same person I am today if it wasn't for him. So, if there's any problems you have with me, you can blame him now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'm sure my parents uh, are probably a little thankful you rubbed off on me a tiny bit. As I've always behaved as a kid. I've never gone into that rebellious phase. So I was uh, too busy at my brother's playing games. This world would be a lot less without him, and I'm thankful he's here. The day you showed up my brother's life, there was a spark in his eye that I've never seen before. And I'm also extremely thankful for you bringing him this happiness that nothing else seemed to really bring. Him. And we welcome you to alert our family, despite how chaotic and nuclear it is. You may have regretted it at one point, but that's all I have to say. Woo!